In this video, I'm going to share with you some digital product ideas that you can create using Canva. One of my favorite things about Canva is that it makes designing simple and accessible to anyone. So no matter your design level, you can create a digital product using Canva. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and inspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and be your own boss. So if that sounds like you, all you have to do is hit subscribe and join the boss tribe. I'm really excited to bring you today's video. Each of the digital products that I mentioned in today's video can work for any niche. So let's jump right into these digital products. The first digital product that I want to mention is an ebook. It is the most common digital product and it's usually the first digital product that everyone gets started with. You can use Canva and use one of their ebook templates to create your ebook. All you have to do is pick a template, customize the design to fit your brand, and you just add your content. Now, I do want to take a quick moment to mention Canva's license agreement. I highly recommend that you take a moment to read through this agreement so you understand what you can and cannot do with Canva's elements. You just want to make sure that your digital product is not violating Canva's license agreement. Now, let's move on to digital product number two, and that is courses. You can design your course slide deck presentation directly into Canva, and you can actually record your presentation directly in Canva. So you can design and record your course using Canva, and once you're done, you can download it and export it as a video. Digital product idea number three are planners. And again, planners can work for any niche. There's meal planners, budget planners, calendar planners, you just pick your niche and you can create a planner inside of Canva. Digital product idea number four are worksheets. The most common worksheets that I've seen are educational worksheets for kids. So if you are an educator or a teacher, this is a great digital product for you. You can create worksheets not only for your kids to use in your classroom, but you can also create worksheets for other teachers and parents to also use with their kids. Now, you can also create worksheets for other categories and niches. Education is just usually the most common one. Digital product number five are workbooks. You can create workbooks to go along with your online course, or you can create standalone workbooks. And again, workbooks can work with any niche or category. I've seen workbooks for manifestation, self-care, budgeting, business plans, you just pick your niche and you can make a workbook for it. Digital product idea number six are checklists. If you can break down a workflow or a process into a step-by-step -step process, then you can create a checklist. Checklists are great for all type of categories. There's checklists for moving and packing. There's checklists for first time home buyers. There's checklists for home cleaning and organization. And you don't have to make your checklist elaborate or complicated. I've seen blank checklists available for sale and someone is making passive income for just creating a blank checklist. Digital product idea number seven are invitations. You can create invitations for just about any type of celebration. There's weddings, birthday parties, baby showers, graduations. You can create invitations and the customer can use it as an, a digital invitation or they can print it out and actually have a physical invitation. And digital product number eight is actually my favorite type of digital product and it's actually what I do and that is to create Canva templates. You can create a Canva template for just about anything. You can create templates for every digital product that I mentioned in this video. You can also create Canva templates for social media graphics such as Instagram posts, Pinterest pins, and Facebook posts. Now, what you cannot do is just grab an existing Canva template, change the colors and font, and try to sell it as your own. Don't do that, okay? Please don't do that. Now, go back to that license agreement and make sure that you understand what you can and cannot do with Canva's designs and elements. Now, in order to sell Canva templates, you will need to have a Canva Pro account. You can get Canva Pro for as little as $9.95 a month if you pay annually, or it is $12.95 a month. Now, in my opinion, the income potential of selling Canva templates outweighs the cost of a Canva Pro account. 
and you can get a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro. All you have to do is just click the link down below in the description box. So if you are super excited about starting a digital product business, let me know down in the comments which of these digital products are you ready to create. And if you want to learn more business tools to help you create your digital product business, all you have to do is watch this video right here. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.